I'm Terry Bowman. I've worked for Ford Motor Company for 27 and a half years as an hourly auto worker represented by the UAW. The UAW had an inside culture of corruption that finally the federal government came in and said enough is enough and many, many union executives fined and or jailed for their activity inside the union. When you're able to force people to pay you money as a condition of employment, you can put your feet up on the desk and laugh all the way to the golf course. You know that people have to support you financially whether you do a good job or a bad job. And we saw that in the UAW. After the federal corruption trial, I think workers were ready for somebody who was not handpicked from the union board of directors and wanted somebody who could come in and represent their interests. So we got Sean Fain in an election and immediately from the gate, he acted tough. He acted like he was gonna bring the union back to its glory days. It does not matter what the automobile companies offer. He has it in his head that he is going to go on strike. And what did we see when the contracts expired? He went on strike. Even though the automobile companies offered, right from the beginning, a record contract. We want everybody walking out, support our cause, or you will not get our endorsement. If we signed up for the UAW's request, instead of making money and distributing, we would have lost $15 billion and gone bankrupt by now. When you see these strikes begin, you will see layoffs. There's no reason why we had to go on strike. Sean Fain wants to be the 21st century of Jimmy Hoffa. He really likes his own celebrity. He likes being on camera. He, in my opinion, is using UAW workers as pawns in order to push his own celebrity, he went out and he rallied with Senator Bernie Sanders. He rallied with Representative Rashida Tlaib. Sean Fain is a open socialist or, or acts like one. He has come out and said that the employer is the biggest enemy to union auto workers. My father worked for Ford, my aunts and uncles worked for Ford, my cousins worked for Ford, I have siblings that work for Ford. We had a good life, we've had a successful life. These are jobs that we want to pass down to our kids, our grandkids, the jobs that have been passed down to us from our parents and our grandparents. You can't take everything you can get and still continue to grow jobs and grow automobile manufacturing in the United States. We have less than 150,000 automobile jobs left at the big three in the United States. These contracts in 2023, uh, they don't address the true needs of the automobile industry, which is keeping jobs in America. I've never had the opportunity in 27 and a half years to have a say whether or not I wanted to be unionized. I am worse off with the UAW in the plant, but I think what Sean Fain is doing is leading the UAW down a path of destruction, all for his own celebrity, and it's auto workers in the long run, especially people just coming into the industry now who are going to suffer because of his actions.